There were several side events and negotiations taking place at COP27 today, and the Belize delegation has been making sure that Belize is at the forefront of the discussion when it comes to accessing climate finance for adaptation and mitigation efforts. Chief Executive Officer Dr. Kenrick Williams and Minister of Sustainable Development, Climate Change and Disaster Risk Management Orlando Habet attended meetings and made presentations with the Global Environment Facility and on Article 6 on accessing climate finance. Finance for mitigation measures, finance for adaptation. We are looking for finance, of course, now for loss and damage. Also on the ground as part of the Belize delegation is Executive Director of the Protected Areas Conservation Trust, Nayari Diaz Perez. Many may not know, but PACT plays a vital role as an accredited entity for the Adaptation Fund and the Green Climate Fund. And so, it has helped with accessing climate financing via these global climate fund facilities. For us as an accredited entity, we have the role of supporting the deployment of those resources at the country level. Um, for Belize, we are currently the only national entity that has been so accredited. And so our other equally important role is to support the government of Belize um, in deploying those resources at the country level and at the local level. Um, so for us, it is very important to be here um, listening in, following and participating in the discussions as much as possible. Uh, because the decisions and the developments that happen at COP have a direct and indirect impact on the work that we do in that supporting role, not just to the climate funds, but also to the government of Belize. The ease of access to climate funding for mitigation and adaptation, not to mention the recently added loss and damage component, is another issue that countries have been facing. Belize has been building its capacity to be able to access these funds. The access to the financing um, by countries and how easy it is or it is not um, is one of the very reasons why the climate funds have been working through the modality of direct access entities um, because they have been promoting a more direct access by countries to the funds. And so that is the role that entities like PAC um, play when it comes to uh, giving countries um, an easier process to access those funds. Um, instead of rather the traditional way that we go through multilateral organizations and international organizations to access those funds. One of the big discussions that has been happening is the creation of another mechanism um, for benefit of countries when it comes to loss and damage um, and the, the benefits that such a mechanism would bring to countries like Belize that are highly vulnerable and suffer the greatest loss and damage um, from the climate change impact. Belize, through the Reducing Emissions from Deforestation and Forest Degradation Program, better known as the Red Plus, has been able to enhance its forest carbon stocks. This puts the country in a better position to access sources of climate finance. We have also, as a country, taken all the steps necessary to be able to get our information and data ready so that uh, whatever information we gathered from our forest um, through the Red Plus, uh, Plus program, to be able to uh, register those, to verify those, um, we have taken some of those credits and emissions reductions that have gone into our NDCs. But whatever now is available, uh, whether for voluntary credits or Red Plus credits, we would like to see how we can monetize those so that we can get some financing. Uh, it is not direct financing coming from UNFCCC or any other uh, financial institution to assist uh, in other areas, but it is something that we have worked for as a matter of fact. Belize, uh, as one of the rainforest nations, has uh, really preserved and conserved its forests for many, many years uh, at the expense of what? It's an opportunity cost. So other countries who have used it up have used it up for development of their own country and their people, and we have sacrificed those. So it is time that we start to get paid for some of those. But it is not as easy as we think. So. There will be a registry process. Um, we have to see how we can put it on a platform. Uh, that platform will be able to market it, and we will try to see how we can get the most out of every credit. Reporting from COP27 in Sham El Sheikh, Egypt, for News 5, I am Dwayne Moody.